Well, take a look. Here is a familiar face to local four viewers, the legendary Carmen Harlan. Five months after leaving the anchor desk, many of you might be hearing her voice once again every day as she's about to become part of the city landscape. Our Paula Tutman joins us now live this afternoon to explain. So where are you exactly, Paula? Well, I am in one of the new streetcars of the Q line. It definitely has that new streetcar smell. It's absolutely beautiful. It does debut to the public May 12th, and you can see lots of stuff going on. People testing the line down Woodward, doing wires. And of course, today we found out who the celebrity voice is for the Q line. Tweaks are in motion for the Q line. The long, sleek trains are being tested, and behind the scenes, those things you don't really get to see happen. Welcome to the Q line, now arriving at Montcalm Street. Until right now, like at the recording studio, and the voice you'll hear when you ride down Woodward. For that, we take you to an historic place. United Sound System, a place where royalty has been crafted and produced. George Clinton from Parliament Funkadelics, the bed of strings for Prince, the Queen of Soul. Are you? And then. Oh, they told me you were going. What are you doing? Hello, I'm doing a story on you. Hi. Oh my gosh. The Queen of Broadcast, our own Carmen Harlan, chosen to be the voice of the Q line. Now arriving at. Sprout Street. Please yield seats to senior citizens and guests with disabilities. Exactly. Isn't that nice? I love it. I mean, that's just we like common sense. The team at United Sound System and the M1 Rail walk Carmen through her stops. Oh, you want oh. me to say now arriving at? Correct. Now arriving at. Correct. Oh, wow. So it would be, so then each, so this is each of these lines are a file. And then what we do is we merge the files together to make you the synthesis. So her voice is going to be used on the streetcar for the guest when they're on the riding on the streetcar in order for them to know um, what is going to be taking place uh, along, the, along the line. She's a pro. Adelaide Street. So there are very few do-overs. Doors will open to the left. Home of the Detroit Public Library, Martin Luther King Boulevard. And in the place where Marvin Gaye once crooned. Home of the Detroit. Carmen II belts out soulful. Grand Boulevard. Smooth. Canfield Street. Gentle. The Fisher Theater. Carmen S. Home of the Fox. Instruction. Please remember to take all personal belongings. Thank you for writing. Hallelujah. That means I'm done, finished, that's a wrap. Good, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, seriously, come on, Karen. Seriously, how cool is this, right? There are lots and lots of historic voices in Detroit, and Carmen certainly takes her place. How incredible is it going to be to ride the queue line and you'll actually hear Carmen say, this is your stop. Mm. I always wondered how they did that and how they chose the voices, and now we know. It's a great behind the scenes look, and I have to tell you, Paula, her voice is so comforting and calming. So if you're hectic and you're running late, you hear her voice, you're like, okay, things are gonna be good. At Absolutely, this is your stop. Please remember to take all of your belongings. Very good advice. Thank you, Paula. <laughs>